Welcome to African Gardening. So today I'm going to be showing you how uh, to transplant uh, a tree or plant from one container to the other without damaging the previous uh, container. In my other video, uh, I had said that uh, it's not a good idea to use this kind of pot. Why? Because when you look at this kind of a pot, you can see at the top, the diameter is this, which is about 25 centimeter, but the height is 35, or in fact, this is 37 centimeters. So that's about 12 centimeters, you know, tall. It's, it's, it's 12 centimeters taller than the diameter of, you know, of the surface. So you need a pot that has a wider surface and that is wider than tall. Why? It allows more oxygen inside. It allows more microbial activity, beneficial microbes that will allow the plant to grow. When you look at this plant, it's not really doing very well. You can see a lot of yellowing. And I think this yellowing is coming from, you know, it could be for several reasons. But I think uh, 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 there's a whole a lot of... Uh, 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 of water being stuck at the bottom too, because when it's narrow, you have you can have water, you know, not uh, going down uh, or being trapped. So I personally I prefer pots that are wider than tall. So what I'm going to be doing right now, I'm going to be moving it from this pot, which is not nice, into this other pot, so that the plant uh, becomes uh, more uh, healthy. So the first thing I'm going to do is since this is taller than even this. You're gonna look at the height. Look at the height where the soil is. So this is my ruler. So this is 37. So I'm gonna come here and I see 37. So you can see it's too high. So what that means is that we're gonna reduce the soil at the bottom of this. So of course, before we put it inside, uh, I'm gonna use my gloves. It's, better, it's always a good idea to have gardening gloves. Why? You don't want your fingers to touch things that could hurt or, ha or harm your hands or even harm you as well. So we don't want that, so we're going to wear this. So right now, the first thing I'm going to do, so you can see the first thing, I have holes in. So there are holes in, about five of them, one, two, three, four, five. So that's very important, so that when I put the sand inside, I so when we put water, the water drains out. It doesn't stay inside. Then the kind of sand I'm using, so this sand, see, it's not sticky, see. It's a sand, it's a well-draining sand. So that's very important. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of sand at the bottom to start with, yeah. So once you do that, yeah. So this is just, yeah, put that in. So you don't wanna to put too much because this is already too high. And the next thing you're gonna do, you'll have to heat up this thing. So you can use your hand or you get a mallet, so you have to heat it up. So some other people might want to use a saw to cut this, but there's no point doing that because you could cut off the roots if you're trying to use a saw or a knife to cut it. So the best thing, heat it up, heat it up, heat it up. You know, it's like uh, when you're hitting a punching bag when you're training in boxing. So that's the kind of effect you get. So just do that. Do that. Sometimes you might need uh, someone to come help you to put this down while you raise it up. So let's see. I have someone on standby, uh, but uh, if I don't need anybody, I'm fine. So, and you must be strong enough. So, oh, look at that. So, you can see the roots. The roots are sticking out. So. Imagine we did not put this at the bottom. So one of the things I'm going to do first, before I put it in here, I think I will uh, put it on the ground here, and I have, I have to reduce. So see what's happening. At the top, the roots are nice, yes, because they're closer to the top where there's a lot of oxygen. At the bottom, because it's narrow, they're not looking good. So I have to do a whole, I have to reduce the roots. So just remove the sand, I mean. And you see, there's even a whole lot of water there, which is not good. It's not good for the tree at all. Not good at all. So you just use your hand to reduce the roots. Yeah. 
reduce it as much as possible. Yeah. Let's do that. Reduce it as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. So like I said, you know, it's very important I've really, really reduced it. You can see, it even has too much water. Simply because, I mean, this container is not a good container. So please avoid using narrow containers. By all means, do not use narrow containers. Narrow flower pots, they're not good. They're gonna give you problems. So I can see that here. So look at that. So it's pretty, we have reduced it a whole lot. Let me show you. So you can see, we've reduced that. You see, the top roots, the white, the one at the bottom, they're brown, because it's quite narrow. So I'm just going to go now, and we're going to put it back here, where we're going to plant it. Oh yeah, so that's it. So, this is what we're going to have here. Yep, it's perfect. Make sure that it's straight. Yeah. So next thing we're going to do, all right, so we're going to put the sands on the side. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, and then the tree will be a lot happier. You can see there's a whole lot of space on the side. That's what you need. So that there'll be a whole lot of uh, microbial activity and then a whole lot of oxygen as well, which is quite important. Very, very important. So the sun we're using is a good sun. It drains up pretty well, yeah. And uh, one of the things you must do, whenever you transplant a plant, please do not apply any form of fertilizer. You wait for about three, uh, wait for about three weeks. So let the roots get used to the new uh, environment before you apply uh, fertilizers of any form. Maybe you can apply after a week. You can apply a foliar fertilizer. That means apply the fertilizer on the leaves. So that's it, you know. For me, I mean, planting, planting in containers is a whole lot more better than planting in the ground. And I'll tell you why. If I decide, even though this is my property, if I decide to leave to another state about 5,000 miles away, I can put my plants in the truck and take it down there so that your plants can go with you. Even if you're moving to another country, you can take it with you. So it's, it has a whole lot more advantages than when you plant on the ground. And again, you can just rearrange your plants as you wish, at any time. All right, so I think good to go. All right, yeah, that's it. So see, this is much better. Yeah, I'm still gonna get more sand. Uh, I'm still gonna put more sand on the on the top. So, so we got more sand here, and then yeah, you can just pour it. Yeah, I can tell you, horticulture is fun. Gardening is fun because you get to see your results and uh, it's pretty cool. So yeah, that's it. So this tree will be a whole lot more happier now and the roots will be happy. Uh, so I'm applying more sands. So like I said, always use containers or pots that the opening at the top is wider than the height of a container itself. That way, you're going to have more oxygen inside. That way, you're going to have more microbial activity, which will be beneficial to the plants. I mean, look at what was happening. When we use this narrow pot, look at it. The sand was not good. So I think even from the beginning, this sand is not a good sand. It has some kind of clay content, you can see. It's, 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 it's retaining water, which is not good. 
So the sand too, the sand quality too is very bad. So now that we're using a right sand, it's even, see, it's not smelling nice at all. So that's why I said use a wider container and the wider container as well, it will allow water to drain down to the bottom and uh, not uh, get, uh, 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 I mean, uh, retained at the bottom of the pot. So we're not going to be using this pot again. So all this I just did, I mean, just an experiment just to show people what's the right thing to do and to show people what's not the right thing to do. So with all these videos I've done, uh, this is the second video I'm do I've done about potting. So this one is actually a, 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 a transplant video. The other video I talked about, the six things you need to do to uh, ensure that uh, whatever you plant in your pot, they do very well, they grow very well. So like I said again, do not apply a fertilizer. Anytime you transplant any plant, do not apply fertilizers immediately. You wait for about three weeks before you apply your fertilizer. And the kind of fertilizer you can use, you cannot apply any chemical fertilizer to the soil. Use organic fertilizers like chicken manure, rabbit manure, cow manure, horse manure. They decompose easily. They do not have salts. The problem with applying chemical fertilizers to the soil in a potted container is simply that the chemical fertilizers, either in liquid or pellet forms, they break down to salts, and these salts get accumulated in the container. If it was in the ground, the salt will dissolve with the ground water, go to another part of the ground. It will be far away from it. But here, it is, the soil is confined, so there's no movement of the soil. So you're going to have salt building up at the bottom, and they will destroy the roots. The roots do not like salt. Salt is bad news for the roots. And unfortunately, a whole lot of the companies manufacturing these fertilizers uh, there's a salt uh, content inside them in the form of chlorides. All right? So that's it. That's it. So you guys can enjoy planting your fruit trees, planting in pots. Like I said, I prefer planting in pots simply because I can take them wherever I'm going. I can rearrange them to make the whole place look totally different. So it's a, it's, it's, it's a very good way you know, to plant. And basically, you can plant anything, almost anything you can plant in the soil. Thank you.